You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think what up, what up, what up, how y'all doing? This is Kay, and I'm back again with another video. Like, subscribe, and also smash that notification. So, I was having a conversation with a young lady. Oh, well, she's not young. Um, she started working for a job, and she's been working there almost six years. Uh, she's been, she's, for the last six years, she's, she's only been making $34,000. No raise no promotion she has a master's degree and she hasn't moved up she hasn't got a raise nothing and she's blaming her job and i'm like you can't blame your job you can't um you blame yourself you have the right to find other opportunities you have the right to create opportunities for yourself don't wait on any job to give you a promotion or a raise like some jobs you are you are um, valuable they will give you that raise they will give you that promotion and it's based on performance if you're performing very well and there's some jobs you can perform a plus and guess what they will they will promote the person who doesn't perform I've seen it happen where somebody that always messes up somebody that doesn't do their job becomes a supervisor or somebody that has a bad attitude becomes a supervisor um, sometimes these uh, these jobs only promote people they can control they know that is willing to um abide by their rules are willing to do everything the next management upper management is, uh, is asking for people that go to work and refuse to do their job not actually maybe not refuse to do their job but knows it all and they are very let's say um independent they have an independent uh, mind they think different from the rest of the employees um they always have something to argue about um they're very combative those are the ones that don't get promoted but here's the thing guys for you people out there who are not being promoted or not haven't been given a raise promote yourself okay promote yourself start your own stuff okay if it might not be in the field that you currently uh the currently in like if you're if you're a social worker there's no reason why you should go you shouldn't go out there and get your masters and become a licensed social worker and provide therapy if you are uh, working it there's no reason why you shouldn't go out there and 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 teach people it and start your own training and consulting company or your own staffing agency or your own hr agency or your own uh engineering agency consulting agency whatever it may be there's no re there's nothing that should stop you from going out there and start something of your own i met a gentleman um i talked to a gentleman a few months ago he works for the federal government he's so talented he's an engineer makes six figures he told me he's like i'm scared to start my business because um com uh, uh, conflict of interest um because you know you once you work when you work for the federal government you have to get clearances and he's scared to start his business. Well, he quit his job and he started his business. After he had a conversation with me, I told him, look, um, you know, you have a, I'm not saying you should quit your job, um, but just, you know, take your time and, but just make sure you get that business started because he's so talented. He brings in a lot of contracts. Um, but right now he quit, started his own business and he has his first client. You know, so guys, don't wait for no job to promote you. You're not entitled to a job promotion, seriously. And even if you are entitled to a job promotion, what have you, what is your, your, um, let's say overall work portfolio? What have you done? Well, have you, have, is your job performance? Is it high? Is all your, is your behavior, is it, is it, is it great? You've had no, no issues in the past year or two. Those are the things you have to look at. If you go to a job and you are acting like you know it all and, and you're causing a lot of problems, trust me, you're not going to be promoted. You're not going to get that raise. That's how some jobs do it. But if you're that type of person that go to work and you're aggressive and you tell your boss how it is, don't expect to get 
a promotion or a raise. Go out there and start your own business. Have a free free mind. You know, me, when I was working, I I tell people how it is. I didn't I didn't hold anything back, you know, but I still went out there and started my own consulting business and training business, and I've been doing that for the last four years. You know, even sometimes like um, I don't even have to do anything because I, I put some of my trainings online on a, a teaching platform and I'm, I'm, I make money every month. So I don't have to worry about training uh, this month. But unfortunately, I do train at least once a week, you know, but you can put your trainings online and let that make money. You know, <laughs> you make money while you're sleeping. Um, so don't don't beg no job for no promotion. If they're not going to promote you, you will not be promoted. Don't fight no job because of a promotion. I've seen people um, get promote. Um, I've seen people go to a job under a year. There was this young lady. She came to where I was working. Uh, she asked the supervisor, um, "I would love to be a supervisor one day." And they told her, after a year, um, you can't become a supervisor. Well, when that year came. She went for the interview. They didn't give her the job. She got upset. The following day, when they gave somebody else the job, she quit. Then when you look into the um, into the history, her uh, work history for that year, she was never on time. She didn't do all her work. She was um, very disrespectful. And you want to be a supervisor? No. People don't hide. People don't promote people who are going to give them problems on the top. They promote people they can control. Hey, hey, K, do this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh, make sure you, you control your team. Make sure you write people up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. They don't want somebody to come up there and say, you say, uh, write up your team. Nah, why should I write up my team? What did my team do? You know, I'm going to show everybody. I'm going to expose everybody up in here. I'm going to dox everybody in here. No, it doesn't work that way. When you move up in corporate America, you have to go by what they tell you to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which profession. It can it, it, even the worst job out there. You can be out there with the worst job, and they will still promote those that follow the rules and say yes to everything. They need yes people. They don't want people up there uh, um, causing problems. They don't. They don't promote people that cause problems. But if you're a problem, if you're if you're a person that causes problems, your best option is to go out there and start your own shit and see what happens. When you have somebody on your team that is working for you, cause problems and see how you react to that situation. So people, don't stand on the sideline. Don't worry about job promotions or, or a pay raise. If you're gonna get one, you will get one. But if you're not getting one and you still have the same pay for the last five years, six years, you should blame yourself, not your job. Because look, I'm not gonna wait for anybody to give me a raise or job promotion. I never did. It's either I have side hustles or a side job. When I was working for the state, I had a, a residential job I was going on the weekends. I was working Friday night, Saturday night, 11 a.m., 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Then I left that, I was driving Uber on the weekends. Then eventually I began to figure it out, like, you know what, this is not going anywhere. I need to start my own stuff. I started my own training and consulting company and in 2017, and boom, I never stopped, never looked back. From there, I began to grow my business. I began to apply for government contracts. I began to do consulting on the side. I began to do business consulting. So there's so many things that I, I'm into. I have some of my trainings online. I have about 10 courses online, you know, and every month I get paid, it doesn't matter. I don't have to do anything. And now I'm in the process of creating more trainings i have sexual harassment i have uh so many types of trainings in my field that i'm putting up on that website so don't sit on the sideline and wait for anybody to give you a promotion promote yourself promote yourself yes promote yourself to ceo why not why not why not promote yourself don't wait for anybody to promote you don't wait for anybody to empower you empower yourself all the resources and the information that you need is out there sba.gov to start a business your local jurisdiction have business centers your colleges have business centers there's so much information on youtube for free 
you don't have to take no class to pay a thousand dollars, two hundred thousand, uh, two hundred. I mean, two thousand dollars to to get a course on how to become an entrepreneur. No, if I I have a I have a course that I teach people how to the eight step to start your business. It costs maybe a hundred bucks. If someone, if I'm going to charge you a thousand dollars to to become, if I'm going to charge you a thousand dollars for my course to become an entrepreneur, what startup money do you have to start the business? You know, most people don't even have five hundred dollars to even start a business. But if I charge you a hundred dollars for um, a business to uh, for um, to to take my class or to take uh, to 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 get consulting, at least you have nine hundred dollars to get that business rolling you know some people have it some people don't but a lot of folks um you know they 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 give up because they don't have the money to pay for a class but there's a lot of free um information online there's a lot of free information on eventbrite there's a lot of free information on youtube there's a lot of free information on google there's a lot of free information on uh facebook that you can watch and even Udemy, if you want to pay for Udemy, it's like maybe $5.99. Pay it, watch them, learn how to build a business in your field. You don't have to worry about a job giving you a promotion. You don't have to worry about a job uh, giving you a raise. A lot of people go to these jobs and they fight for to become a supervisor. They fight. Trust me, they only promote those they can control. And if you're a person that don't like to be controlled, trust me, you cannot get to management. I was in management and I love my position. I I manage about 60 to 70 people, but I quit because I know I couldn't control upper management. I had to leave when it comes to funding, when it comes to staffing, when it comes to other things, I had to leave my position. I left. Last, I left in January the 1st. I quit January the 1st. Funding um, for my team, because I had one jurisdiction for me. There was two assistant directors. I had one jurisdiction for me, and I was unable to get funding. I was unable to get a sta staffing. I was able to get enough resources to run my team. And I'm not going to fight for something I don't own. I didn't argue with them. I will put in the request. They will say, no, I'll keep it moving. Then when that time came and I said to myself, I put in a request, they refused. I said, you know what? This is it. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight for something I don't own. You know, I don't own it. It's not my company. I can't take the credit card and take money out of that company. I can't. They can fire me as an assistant director if they want to. They can fire me. They can demote me. They can but I chose not to fight because I will not fight for something I do not own. But for my company, oh hell yeah, I will fight all day. So I always encourage folks out there, you know, when you're at these jobs, you have to do what they say regardless of how you feel. I don't care if you work in an all white place, all white uh, company, if that's what they want, that's what they want. And if you feel like this, you feel racism, you quit. You turn in your two weeks and get the hell out. You don't need to raise. You don't need to uh, question, hey, this place is racism, blah, 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 blah. No, quit. Go start your own stuff. Empower yourself. But anyway, that's what I wanted to say today. Um, but continue to like and continue to subscribe. I mean, continue to like, continue to comment. Um, the more you like, the more you comment brings more uh, people to my, my channel. So I appreciate you. Have a wonderful holiday and don't forget, empower yourself. If you don't feel comfortable at a job and your pay, they're not adding to your pay, find a solution to it. There's a solution out there for you, for me, for everybody out there. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Don't forget, um, if you need to start a business, go to sba.gov and it will show you step by step on how to start your business from step one to the to the last step. I also have a course, eight steps to, to start your business. Um, that's available as well. But for those who 
don't have money, who are young, who are still um, learning, go to sba.gov and that will give you the various steps to start your business out there. And it'll give you information on licensing, it'll give you information about contracts, whatever you want to do, it's on sba.gov. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and take care. Peace.